All right, this is how you cut off the turbo timer, okay? So here it is, and I'm gonna I'm gonna shut off the car, okay? But it's still running because the turbo timer's on. If you want to deactivate it, all you have to do is release the e-brake, and that's it. It's gone. So the only one real flaw about the turbo timer is that if you leave it on, you have to leave it in neutral because the car is running, everything is running. If you were to put it first gear and it's running as soon as you let off the clutch, it's going to try to go in first gear. And uh, if I remember correctly, in order for the turbo timer to activate, you have to have the e-brake up. So if you're in first gear with the e-brake up and you let go of the clutch, you're going to jerk forward, you're going to stop, it's going to stall. And it's just going to be a big mess. So, you know, if you're parking on a hill or whatever and you're worried that your e-brake may fail, don't use the turbo timer so that you can put it in gear, whether it's reverse or if it's in a forward gear, you know. That's about it. Turbo timer is sick. Yeah, it ain't going anywhere. So I got something for my passengers to look at. <laughs>